Joining me on Fan TV after a 4 0 home victory against the Invicta Dynamos, I've got Captain James Ferrara. So, James, we might have gone into that game thinking that the scoreline might have been uh, a little bit wider. Uh, the Phantoms have been in terrific form by the, by the defeat last week, but it wasn't to be a resolute performance from the visitors tonight, and uh, it took a long while. Yeah, it did. Um, you know, credit to them, they, they worked hard. They, you know, their short bench still had one goalie. Um, but they did work all the way till the end, um, so obviously that, that that makes it more difficult for you. But considering the possession we had and the shots, um, we'd have liked to have perhaps had a bigger scoreline. Um, perhaps scored earlier. We we left it quite long, and I don't think we ever panicked. And you know we managed the puck well at times and controlled the game. Um, we just weren't maybe clinical enough. Didn't do that extra, you know, little thing to to get to the net or or, or something to find that goal. Um, maybe get the rebound, this, that and the other. Um, I think we were talking before and perhaps we were trying to score goals that looked really good and the play was amazing, you know. It, it's just that, that final finish, was there one pass too many? Was, was that pass the right pass? Um, you know, we'll have, to, we'll have to review that and have a look back. Um, I think a couple of goals in the first period would have, you know, kept them on the back foot, um, kept their belief down, but, you know, they, they worked hard for it. Um, and it's just shown in the second period, all the goals were from in and around the goal. Um, getting the rebounds and, and fighting for that puck and that's what we needed to do earlier on. I thought I th well, We did talk before the interview but I, I thought in the first period we were looking to uh, to pass it and the tic-tac-toe kind of moves and the passing was, was quite crisp and I wanted to say that uh, that meant that we were not shooting the puck but 45 shots in, in two periods, I don't know what the shots on goal were in the final one but we, we've had pucks on goal and, uh, and perhaps it was uh, perhaps not cute enough in the first two periods. Yeah, I agree completely. Um, and obviously, if Longer sees the puck, he's going to save the puck, um, especially, you know, shots from further out. We were trying to get the puck to the point and, and get it on net. But if the forwards, you know, if we don't have one or two guys in front, uh, it makes it easier for the goalkeeper and the defenders to clear rebounds. And I don't think we did that really until halfway through the second period, perhaps. Um, so it's not something we, we chose not to do. It's just one of those things that maybe we thought it was going to was going to just happen or maybe going to work. Um, it's a difficult game mentally um, and psychologically sometimes to, to think about that. It's important that you still do the little things, you know, even despite you know the ability of the opponent or how hard they come at you. Um, but you know, it was important that we won tonight. Um, it was nice to get a shutout as well. It's, we've, we've been close in the last few weeks and then perhaps lost it close to the end. So it was nice um, for that to happen and for Luke to get a little bit of ice time at the end as well. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's really the, one of the stories of the evening, isn't it? When we arrived tonight, I, I guess we were all expecting to see Ryan as the backup and uh, a late call for a 16-year-old. And the biggest story for me is that Slava actually put him on. Yeah, um, I don't know. I, I didn't know that was going to happen or anything else. I was on the ice and saw the, the change. So uh, it was great for Luke, you know, coming through the juniors here and working hard to, to get an opportunity tonight for us. Um, so, yeah, I think he had a shot at the end, perhaps one or two shots, and he did well. So um, it was a nice, nice experience for him. And it's, it's good to, to see him um, with us tonight. And it's just the experience of a match night, you know, how guys prepare, how they get ready for a game, all those sort of things he'll, he'll take with him. And, and it's a learning curve from here on end for him. Um, but but it's you know good for him. I think it's unfortunate for Ryan. I think he just something happened in training last night, and perhaps you know it's just precautionary or, or something he needs to get looked at. I'm not sure, but um, it's unfortunate for him. But it's nice to see you know juniors coming up. We've got quite a few juniors now um, have come through our system and worked really hard to get to where they are. And Luke's got something to aspire to there. So um, you know it's, it's it's good for good for our club going moving forward. And just a final word, I guess about well the next three games. Three games. In, uh, in a week, it's uh, Raiders tomorrow night away, and then uh, I think it's Swindon away on Saturday. Bees at home. Uh, these are three, three really tough. They're, they're coming thick and fast. Yeah, they are, um, and it's not going to slow down going into December and the, the cup semi uh, cup not semi final games now as well. Um, but uh, yeah, mine's on tomorrow now. London, a, a tricky opponent. Um, they, they won in overtime here early in the season. Um, we had a good game against them last time they came here, but they're a tough, they're a tough opponent. They, they play hard, and they're, they're organised, um, and obviously they can, they can win on any given night. They're at home, so the, they'll have the crowd behind them. Um, so it'll be nice to go there and, and get momentum back on our side as well, following the win tonight. Um, and that'll be important, I think, going into the next weekend. Two tough teams, perhaps um, two of the, the closest teams we have to us fighting for the league. So um, it's important that we, we pick up points in the next three games, um, keep us you know, in, a, in a good position in the league. Thanks for joining us. Good luck tomorrow night, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks. Cheers.